Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this, we are going to discuss about the fourth property of Laplace transform. So let us see what this property says. So this fourth property of Laplace transform says, if Laplace transform of f of t is f of s, then prove that Laplace transform of t into f of t is minus 1 dds of f of s or is same as minus of f dash of s. And the second result says, prove that the Laplace transform of t to the power n into f of t is minus 1 to the power n dd and its order derivative with respect to s of f of s. Okay. Now, if you look at this first and second result, if you put t is equal to 1 in the second result, that is the first result. Okay. So, uh, this property, as you can see here in the property, it is multiplied by t, t to the power n. So, this property is known as multiplication by t property. multiplication by t or t to the power n property okay so let us see the solution of uh, or rather the proof of this uh, property so we are gonna start with the given thing okay so what is given given Laplace transform of f of t is equal to what is it f of s this is given to us what does it mean Laplace transform so mathematically this is integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt is equal to f of s any doubt up to this we have taken the given thing and just written the definition for this Laplace transform of f of t, right? Now look at the result. In the result, we have dds in the right hand side. Do we have a dds here? No. So this proof that or show that problem helps me in so improving the result by making use of this. Okay, so we need dds in the result, but that we don't have here. So you just need to differentiating with respect to s we get so what we will be getting dds of integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t dt is equal to dds of f of s clear dds differentiating on both sides with respect to s now let me remind you of the Leibniz rule of uh, differentiation under the integral sign that we are going to make use of here okay so this implies integration 0 to infinity del del s of e to the power minus st into f of t dt is equal to this is same and from where this comes we are using Leibniz rule of derivative under the integral sign okay now this is differentiation with respect to s so we have a function of s here only and this would be treated as constant so this is integration 0 to infinity what is derivative of this e to the power minus st into minus t because derivative of st with respect to s is minus t into f of t dt dds of f of s okay now you can just do one thing you can just multiply it by minus one so you can write multiply by minus one we get so when you multiply it by minus one you will be getting 
इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इंफिनिटी ओके ई टू द पावर माइनस एस टी लेट मी राइट इट नाइसली ई टू द पावर माइनस एस टी इंटू टी इंटू एफ ऑफ टी डी टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस डी डी एस ऑफ एफ ऑफ एस ओके नाउ इफ यू लुक एट दिस बाय द डेफिनेशन इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू इंटी ई टू द पावर माइनस एस टी एफ ऑफ टी डी टी इज एफ ऑफ एस सो इफ इट इज ओके सो इफ इट इज एफ ऑफ टी वी हैव ला प्लस ट्रांसफर एफ ऑफ टी Now here in place of f of t we have t into f of t. So by the definition one, you can write this one as Laplace transform of t into f of t is equal to minus one into d d s of f of s. Or if you want, you can write minus of f dash of s. so this proves the first result right now you look at the second result the second result we have to prove for n and n is varying from 1 2 3 and so on all positive integers is right pen okay so this result is true for n is equal to 1 2 and so on so for n is equal to 1 we have already proved now to prove this result we are going to make use of principle of mathematical induction okay so principle of mathematical induction says if you have to prove any result for n natural numbers like n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on then prove the result for n is equal to 1 that we have already proved then suppose for n is equal to 1 you have to prove the result for n is equal to k you can suppose that the result is true and then prove for n is equal to k plus 1 okay so if the result is true for n is equal to k plus 1 whenever it is true for n is equal to k then the principle of mathematical induction says the result is true for all values of n varying from 1 2 3 eh so on okay so this result we have already proved for n is equal to 1 now we suppose the result is true for n is equal to k and will prove for n is equal to k plus 1 okay so i can write uh, say this is to be my equation a okay that we are have to prove so you can write this is this is same as equation a for n is equal to 1 so you can write therefore the result is true therefore the result is true for n is equal to 1 okay now now we use now we use principle of mathematical induction now we use principle of mathematical induction to prove the result to prove the result okay so principle of mathematical induction says prove the result for n is equal to 1 that we have already done now suppose let us suppose let us suppose the result is true the result is true for n is equal to k so if the result is true for n is equal to k meaning thereby that is Laplace transform of t to the power k into f of t is same as minus one to the power k into d k by means k order derivative with respect to s of f of s. 
this is the meaning that the result is true for n is equal to k now we prove now we prove the result now we prove the result for n is equal to k plus 1 where k is any natural number okay so proving the result for n is equal to k plus 1 so say this is to be my equation number say b okay so for n is equal to k plus 1 means what we want i want laplace transform of t to the power k plus 1 into f of t is minus 1 to the power k plus 1 k plus 1 -th derivative of f of s how many derivative we have for the time being kth derivative how many we want k plus 1 -th derivative so what we need to do just differentiate one more time okay so differentiating one more time to this equation number b so i'm writing here now we prove the result for n is equal to k plus 1 that is to prove that is to prove laplace transform of t to the power k plus 1 into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power k plus 1 into kth order derivative with respect to s of f of s okay so for this what we need to do differentiate b differentiating equation b with respect to s with respect to s we get so what we get already kth order derivative is there okay so already kth order derivative is there so you can write this one as in terms of this so this is e to the power minus st into t to the power k f of t dt okay and here we have here we have minus 1 d k d k of f of s now we have this equation now we have to differentiate it once so just differentiating with respect equation b with respect to s so from the right hand side we have written like this by the definition so differentiating once here and differentiating once here so this become k plus 1 okay now you can just take this inside this is a to the power minus st into t to the power k into f of t okay and this is k plus 1 this is also k plus 1 minus 1 to the power k okay now this is integration 0 to infinity what is derivative of this derivative of this is e to the power minus st into minus t and this t to the power k is there okay so here we have minus 1 to the power k into dk plus 1 dsk plus 1 f of s okay so now multiplying by minus 1 so i will be getting t to the power k plus 1 f of t is the same as minus 1 to the power k plus 1 into dk plus 1 means kth order derivative k plus 1 th order derivative of this simple now if you you if you write like in terms of uh, laplace transform so this is laplace transform of t to the power k plus 1 f of t is minus 1 to the power k plus 1 into k plus 1 th order derivative of this okay so this is same as equation a for n is equal to 
k plus 1. So the result is true for n is equal to k plus 1. Therefore, therefore by principle of mathematical induction the result is true principle of mathematical induction the result is true for n is equal to k plus 1 Therefore, by principle of mathematical induction, the result is true for n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay, so this completes the proof of this result. In the very upcoming learning video, we'll, uh, we will take problem on this uh, multiplication by t property. So that the length of the video lecture should not be increased. That's why we are doing it in the next video. Okay. So thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.